Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Geek Life with Lexi here, and I wanted to touch on this subject here because I thought it was really important. It's DoorDash drivers are paid so poorly, it's a human rights issue. Oh my gosh, let's get started on this and find out what is going on here. So this is taken by Jose Rodriguez, and it says, the gig economy has yielded record amounts of revenue and profit this year for companies such as DoorDash, Amazon, and Walmart, but not much has trickled down to workers, many of whom make less than minimum wage, less than minimum wage or worse, fall below the poverty line. The low wages are a human rights violation, according to United Nations poverty expert who's calling on CEOs of these corporations to recognize that workers are not being paid enough. As Vice reports, in many cases, workers are not only unfairly compensated, but also unfairly treated. They're not categorized as workers, which is part of how corporations are getting away with paying such criminally low wages. The UN expert writes, it's a reversal of the country's creation myth or the idea that you only have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps but that's a convenient narrative, mostly for the companies behind the gig economy. And it could be detrimental to the US since many of their workers rely on public assistance. Now here's where it gets really sad. The government is basically subsidizing Amazon, Walmart, and DoorDash's workforce. As the UN explains, the special rapporteur, or reporter, I guess it's pronounced, pointed to a US government report naming all three is among the top employers of government, medical, and food assistance recipients. Okay, Jobs are supposed to provide a pathway out of poverty, yet in all three companies, the business model seems to be to shift operating costs onto the public by relying on government benefits to supplement miserably low wages, he said. Among the examples cited by DeShutter, DoorDash was one of the worst offenders. In some cases, workers make $2 per delivery, as Vice reports, and a lot of you guys, you're, you're experiencing this. DoorDash has also received a letter from DeShutter in which he alleges that DoorDash's procedures, practices, and algorithms lead to many DoorDash workers being paid below the minimum wage or even the poverty line, leaving them and their families unable to access an adequate standard of living. Motherboard has previously reported on how DoorDash's tip-based payment model has left some dashers begging for extra tips from customers as they only make around $2 per delivery from the company and are not compensated for gas or travel. You know, and it's true. I mean, a lot of times, you know, it doesn't say in the terms, um, DoorDash doesn't say that the delivery driver doesn't get the delivery fee. Half of these people even know that, you know, half of the customers don't even know that. They just think the delivery fee goes to us, but it does not. DoorDash, that's part of DoorDash's upcharge. As a result of classifying, okay, here's the rest of it. I'm sorry to interrupt. As a result of classifying workers as independent contractors, unclear algorithms and unfair tip practices, DoorDash workers are often not paid a living wage. And as a result, many DoorDash workers cannot afford their basic needs. DeShutter wrote, uh, DoorDash drivers are not guaranteed a minimum level of pay and may be paid well below what the company advertises, the minimum wage or even the poverty line. Despite working full time, which many of you do, for DoorDash, one employee reported that he lives in his car and relies on SNAP. Now, for those of you that don't know, SNAP is basically food stamps. Food stamps, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Programs is what that refers to, the SNAP program. DeShutter also noted the food delivery company had filed suit to stop a law in New York requiring companies to pay gig workers a minimum wage of nearly $18 per hour. 
DoorDash replies to the letter saying that the shutter misunderstands the benefits of being an independent contractor. And they said that DoorDash says this, these allegations fundamentally misunderstand how DoorDash provides economic opportunity and financial security for millions of people who want to earn money when, how, and where they choose. How many times have we heard this, right? A DoorDash spokesperson said, on average, dashers in the U.S. earn over 25 per hour on delivery. Not true, by the way. Most of us have to keep on three apps to make that much money. And not everybody, by the way, not everybody has access to the LOP program. That's the large order program, which pays more. So most of us are not on that program. You're lucky if you are, though. And Dashers consistently say that they prefer to remain independent contractors, and it's because this is supplemental work that enables them to earn extra income. Okay, so even if they are saying this is supplemental work that enables us to you know, make this extra income, still, that doesn't make it right. I'm sorry, pay Dashers a fair wage, period. That doesn't give you right or license to just pay $2 you know, come on, DoorDash. And the same goes for these other apps. A lot of them are following in their footsteps. The company's argument invariably is that they are providing workers opportunities. Once again, they say opportunities, but companies forget that without those workers, they simply wouldn't exist. Without us, they wouldn't exist, right? Workers, contractors, whatever, don't owe companies anything. So yeah, that's that guys. Um, I'm going to leave you with that. This is, this is disturbing, it really is, because it just seems that the payouts just keep getting lower and lower and lower as time goes on. And I know that you guys know this already, but you know, it's, it's just very frustrating. And for those of you that say, oh, just go get another job, just quit your job. Well, that's not always feasible for everybody. You know, and it takes time to find other jobs and not everybody's qualified to do other jobs. So, you know, there's a reason that people are doing gig work and it's for good reason. We're trying to make money. We're trying to support, a lot of people are trying to support their families. A lot of people are trying to pay their bills. Um, yes, I do have another part-time job. Um, I have my own business, but it, you know, it's, it's not doing well right now because people are hanging on to their money. So I'm having to rely on gig work. Um, it's things like that, that, you know, people need to take into consideration. And, you know, I'm just really passionate about this. So I, I just think that that's, you know, it's easy for people to say, get another job and quit that job, but that's not always the case. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that right now. Leave your comments below and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Hope you have a great day, great night, and I'll see you then.